And we're back. <sighs> Hello everyone, welcome back to yeah. another stream. We go again, quick turnaround, and uh, hopefully another good stream. I hope everyone as well will wait as usual, and if you let me know if you can see me, that would be great. Um, hope everyone had a good Easter. <clears throat> uh, let's see, where are we? <sighs> let me um, post on Twitter, actually, that we're live. Uh, where are we? Yeah, I hope everyone as well. Let me know where you're watching from or how your Easter went. Uh, speak to me. Uh, let's see, where are we? Game week 31 is going to be interesting, man. I'm uh, a bit nervous, I can't lie. <laughs> no no Arsenal going into this week is going to be rough, but um, let's see how it goes. Uh, watching from the bench boost Sam Daly <laughs> how are we <laughs> Copenhagen oi uh, alert alarm alert there you go uh, watching from Bally Bag. I thought you meant bench boost my bad Troy Shreeman I'm hyped uh, good to see you. So I have a dilemma chasing my mini league leader. Yeah. Um, how many points are you behind in your mini league? Would you bench boost from Palmer, Son... Who, who would you bench, sorry, from Palmer, Son, Foden, Havertz, Muniz and Darwin? Who does Muniz play this week? Let me have a look. Muniz, Muniz, Muniz. Fulham versus Forest is a good fixture. Um, I think you have to start Havertz, but you never know what rotation in that game. Um, I think I would bench Muniz, but only because I have to. Palmer, Son, Foden, Darwin, Havertz are too good uh, to bench. Um, hello, Offcore. How are you? Good to see you. Watching from Masquets? How do I say that? At work. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, Kittle, how are you? Good to see you. Come on, you Spurs. Sonny captain. Yeah, imagine. I'd love to, I'd love to, but I don't have it in me this week with Salah against Sheffield United. So can please, Mister Choi, help me. I want the captain's. Uh, I want the captain Halland, even one point five less EV than Salah. Delusional. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just the fact Salah can get um clean sheet point, which I think is very likely. Um, and he gets an extra point for a goal, and he's playing against Sheffield United. I don't know. I don't think he can go Halland over Salah personally. Um. But again, if you're looking to do something different, I think you know here what we're used to. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't need to tell you to do something different. We're always different here. Um, Hi, Choi, says um, Tarbus, how are you? What are my transfer plans? Okay, so <laughs> two days ago, I was planning on doing a minus four. Yesterday, I was, I was going to do one transfer. And today, since a bit of gusto news, I think <laughs> I'm just going to roll. Um, I know you're probably looking at my team. I don't know if you can see it properly. Let me zoom in. Um, and it doesn't look the best. I can't lie. Right? But again, we're building for the future. It's not going to be great every single week. Um, but what am I planning? If I were to do a transfer this week, it would be Doughty to Guardiola. It's just, um, if Gusto plays, I mean, there's no point in me benching him for uh, Guardiola. Um, I would say City are more likely to keep a clean sheet this week compared to Chelsea. But attacking threat-wise, if Gusto plays, I think he's quite good. Uh, so I'm in a bit of a predicament. Yes, I'm going to be starting Chris Wood leading the line again against Fulham. <laughs> what an absolute legend, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's the situation right now. Uh, and I still fancy Tony. So I don't want to get rid of Tony because I think he can come up with a... With a goal or two against Brighton. And the fixtures going forward are too good to get rid of him. Um, and same with Wood. Look, he's not a long-term pick. Um, but I think for the time being, I can't get to a Darwin or Isaac yet. So he's a good placeholder for the time being. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. West Wales. Jesus, very good, very good. Um, hey, Chai, what do you think about Arsenal defender for Gusto or Haaland for Tony? Look, I think Haaland is definitely better than Tony this week. Don't get me wrong. But is it worth a transfer this week? Villa 
I would say are usually good defensively. Now that doesn't mean they're gonna be good against City. When you're at the Etihad, things change. Um, but Tony versus Brighton isn't bad at all. I don't think it's worth a transfer. Um, an Arsenal defender for Gusto. Again, I don't know if that's worth a transfer because going forward, if Gusto's fit, you're gonna want him. Um, but that's just some of the issues I'm having as well. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I'd make a move there. Uh, if Regalon start or not, super shy. I think Regalon should start. Um, who was it that played left back for Brentford the other day? He played really well. Um, but I do expect Regalon to be back. I was actually really confused about Regalon uh, during the week. Because I know he got a red card and it was a straight red too. Um, but I didn't realise it wasn't for violent conduct. Because he was the last man back. So um, I had to ask around. I know, I know. I should know this, but um, I didn't. From Malaysia, love your videos. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you. Uh, we're at minus four this week if it means bringing in Luis Diaz. Yeah, Luis Diaz is one I spoke about two weeks ago. Um, he just looks different in the last few weeks. He's running at fellas and uh, he's making a different a difference in games. Uh, it's very exciting to watch, I have to say. Um, but is he worth a hit? I suppose if you're not free hitting, in, if you're trying to keep him for a double in 34, I think he's worth a hit this week. Otherwise, if you're free hitting, I don't think so. Choi, what do you think about Kuna? Uh, Kuna's a great option. He's just after coming back from injury. Uh, and whether he starts or not is another thing. Um, I think it, he has a good chance to start. Um, but in general, yeah, Kuna's great. Um, is he one of the three strikers that I'd like to have if I could choose any three in the game? No. But for the budget, he is great. Um, especially if you're going to wildcard in maybe 35. It's definitely a good option. Hey, Chai, Havertz or Gradual, whom to start? I oh, have to start the attacker all day, man. Always start the attacker for me. Choi, save me. Havertz, Wood or Palmer? How come everyone seems to have Havertz? This is crazy. Uh, Havertz, Wood or Palmer, who to bench? I think you have to bench Wood. Just because the, the Luton game is very high upside for Havertz. Uh, and I, I suppose you could say the same with Palmer. He's just on such good form, it's really difficult to bench him. Doughty to eight and Ori with a minus four. Um, it's not the worst move in the world, especially if you're not free hitting in 34. Um, he has really good fixtures, man, and even a decent fixture in 37. Uh, but it is only a single game week. Uh, should I take a minus four f for Madison to Foden? Yeah, Madison is one we need to speak about. Um, I did think I'm not gonna lie, do a bit better than he has done. Um, but. Since coming back from injury, what we knew is that um, it was something in his foot. And what it, I can't remember what the injury is called, but whatever it was, it takes um, a few months to recover from. So you can come back playing football, but it will always be niggling you for a while. And he did come back a bit early. Um, he's clearly not fully fit. You can tell because he's not running too much and uh, he's not moving so freely. And I thought with the two week off uh, for the international break, he would be moving a bit better. Um, and he got, I think he got hooked at the 57th or 67th minute, sorry. Um, and he didn't look overly great against, um, uh, against Luton. So I think for me, he's a hold. And I think a lot of me is saying that because if he starts tonight, there's a good chance he's involved in the goal. Um, and I expect him to start. So I would hold on to him and he's definitely not worth a minus four, I don't think. Um, I've gambled with no sack or no Haaland. I have Son and Nunes as differentials. Thinking Madison out for a minus four. Um, interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Fofana or Madison? Tiny fungus. Uh, Madison for me, man. I'm fairly sure Fofana is... Uh, I don't know if he's still injured, but I know he was injured. So, um, Burnley also got a red card and so did... Uh, what's his name? Company, so company will not be at the game. So I don't know how that much affects him, uh, but I expect Burnley to be a bit shy. Bowen Wood Palmer, pick two, please. Um, I'd be starting Bowen. Bowen? No, I wouldn't be starting Bowen. Ah, <laughs> uh, you tried to get me. Uh, nah, bah, would I start Bowen against Top Spur? Look, Bowen is better than Wood for this week. Um. And it would be very biased for me to say to drop Bone. But I, I, if it was me, I would drop Bone. 
But because it's you, you have to start bowing him Palmer. <laughs> okay? If that makes sense. Doughty to eight in Ori with a minus four. Yes. Uh, Semenya or Tony? Tony, easily, man. He had nine shots last game. He hit the post. Uh, and he got an assist. He made that goal for against United in the last minute. Um, he's play he seems to be playing with a lot of confidence. I think anyone that's taken that many shots um, is playing with confidence, regardless of if they're scoring or not. Like They're not afraid to take um, a shot. And that's always been the thing with Tony. Uh, it doesn't matter who he's against. He, like He's always confident. I think we've seen against Arsenal, he took a 50-yard um, long shot at uh, Ramsdale and nearly went in. Like, um, But that's just the type of player he is. So I do fancy Tony. Well, watching from uh, Waterford, says Brian Marcy. Excellent. Um, <laughs> that is mad. Um, Avid says, we have the same team, but did Madison to Havertz. Okay, so we don't have the same team anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's not a bad move. It's just um, my the way my chips are, I have to do things a bit differently. Hey, Chai, which two players to start between Gabriel, Guardiola and Havertz and Garnacho? I would start Gabriel and I would start Havertz. Should I be um, I can't speak. Should I bench Saka for Muniz? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we got some news on Twitter. I'll try to find it. Um, the Saka was seen in the open training for Arsenal. Uh, so that's some big news if you're a Saka owner. Fortunately, I'm not. Um, am I going to get burned for it? Probably, but uh, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, Zico Sullivan says, Bench Madison, Palmer, Tony or Muniz? I'll bench Muniz. Um, he is on amazing form, don't get me wrong. Um, but, I don't know, I just still feel like the other names you've mentioned are just better. Um, so, yeah. Who would you start? Would Palmer Havertz? I'd start Palmer and Havertz. Um, Amrit says, hey, Chai, which two players to start between... I answered that already. Um, bench Palmer, Havertz or Tony? I'd bench Palmer. I'm I, like I'd start Tony every day, man. I just after watching him the last few weeks, I'm very confident in him, even though I probably shouldn't be. Uh, do drop a like. Choi answers a lot of questions. Thank you, Offcore, for the super chat. I appreciate you. Uh, you're a legend as usual. Brought in McAllister for Neto says Brian Marcy. You know what? McAllister has been amazing. Um, he's actually been ridiculous. Like uh, him and Endo are running the show at Liverpool. Um, it's been a bit mad watching Liverpool. Um, like transition from a Fabinho and Henderson and then just replace the boys with two two fellas that are doing the work for him. So yeah, but McAllister, he's um getting in really advanced positions as well. I don't think that's a bad move. Um Madison to Diaz for a minus four. Captain Diaz chasing points. I don't know, I I think if you're chasing points you don't need to like realistically every I, I'd say nine out of ten times Salah outscores Diaz. Um, but I do get what you're saying about chasing points it is tough like I'm chasing points myself but if you just keep picking your best team I know every, if every week is hard not to see people around you what they're doing um, because you might have to do things differently but again that will that could be the difference between them getting fully away from you um, and you staying close to them so if you have Salah I'd captain them personally Madison Diaz is not a bad move but um I'm holding on to Madison personally. Hi Chai, on wildcard 31, Foden plus Muniz or Isaac plus Garnacho. Isaac plus Garnacho if you're free hitting in 34. Um, one week punt on Jesus? If it's a one week punt, absolutely. I've always been someone that um, liked Jesus and especially in a fixture like Luton. Let me show you my challenge team actually. Uh, Jesus is someone I have. Where are we? Ch FPL challenge. Um, by the way, don't forget to do your challenge team, which is a bit of crack. Why not? Uh, yeah, so if you don't know, um, strikers get double points this week. So if you captain a striker, he gets quadruple points. So Tony, if he gets a goal, he'll get um, 16 points for that goal, I'm fairly sure. Um, <laughs> so that's why I'm captaining a striker. And I have Jesus, he's one of them. <clears throat> I think it's very likely that Jesus starts tonight. Or not tonight. Is it tonight or tomorrow? Uh, just because um, it's been a, like, a lot of Arsenal players don't get rested. So this is a good opportunity for Arteta to rest some players because uh, they have a lot of fixture congestion coming up. Adam Sousa, 
with the five dollar super chat my guy um hey what's up shy would you start richie or Mbwemo? okay um i brought both of them in on wildcard 30 do you think that was a good idea also brought in Mooney's too that is interesting um wildcard 30 was was kind of difficult um, a difficult week to wildcard only because um it was awkward with the fixtures with uh, City playing Arsenal and I feel like I put a lot of people off going with the Arsenal, even like myself. If it's between Richie or Mbwemo, um, I think both get about 60 to 70 minutes. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Richarlison starts tonight. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if Mbwemo starts equally. But I do feel like they'd be both hooked after 70 minutes, uh, 60 or 70 minutes, because they're both coming back from injury. Um, but in Buemo and Richie, providing they're getting the same minutes, who do I fancy? Let me look at the fixtures. Um, Brentford versus Brighton, there's goals written all over that. But equally, in the Spurs game, I know you're asking a Spurs fan, and it's very hard for me to put my biases aside. But look, if we're being honest, we score a lot of goals, like, so some of my biases come from, a, like, a direction of watching us every single week and we do score a lot of goals you could ask anyone um i think the answer is either uh and i know it's not the answer you're probably looking for but it's very hard to choose between um, one of them but i'd be happy with starting either of them because i would say it's likely that both of them start and when came on uh for brentford last game i think it was around the 70 or 80 minute against united came on and within i think Two minutes of uh, him coming on, he got an offside assist straight away into Tony's path. Um, they have like some telepathic um, vision for each other. Uh, ooh, but yeah, I would be happy with either. If it was me, I'd start with Charleston just because I think he starts. Um, Choi, I regret wildcard in 28. Yeah, I... I suppose now in hindsight, we're always going to regret wildcarding um, because you always have an advantage the later you wildcard. But like I say, and I hate saying it, but it really is team dependent. And I really needed it. Like if we look back on my team um, in game week 27. I So in game week 26, we are 5 millionth game week rank. 27 7 million game week rank and then i wildcarded in 28 and it was a 30k game week rank that was massive for me like and it had to be done in my opinion um and i gained a lot from doing it so um for me it worked out and then the following week again um 1.3 million game week rank in a in a week where a lot of people free hit so i, I got to bank the free hit and then last week 1 million game week rank so i know right now it can feel like um it's a bit shite that everyone has their wild card, but we've done it for a reason. Uh, so we just have to try build around that, I suppose. Um, Tony Fungus, Palmer Salah or is that captain? Um, also have Tony and Foden. I think it's very hard to get go against Salah, like I said. He's just too good. He had 12 shots against, um, against Brighton. And in my opinion, Sheffield United are worse than Brighton. Bradley and Salah seem to have um, good chemistry as well, so I think Salah's a no-brainer this week. Hi, Choi. I'm wildcard 31. Foden plus Muniz or Isaac plus Garnacho. Feel like going Foden and Muniz way to target City fixtures of game week 31 to 33. Yeah. If you if you go Foden, um, he also covers you for game week 37 uh, when City double. The only thing is, I think we could see some pepper roulette. That's my only issue. I think at some point, uh, City play Luton. Now, whether that's Alvarez that comes in for Foden or De Bruyne, I'm unsure. Um, but Foden and Muniz, or Muniz or Isaac plus Garnacho. Foden. I think Isaac is also really good. Sorry, I don't know what way you worded that question, so I don't know how to answer it. Um, but Isaac and Foden would be ideal. Uh, Josh Sims says, bench Foden or Isaac? <sighs> ah, man, that's tough. Isaac with the penalties, and he's on a really good form. Look, he's back to full fitness. He's playing 90, three back-to-back -back 90s. I don't think we've seen Isaac do that in fucking two years, like. Um, but again, 
this is a game for Foden where we've seen it against Brentford where he could come up with a hat trick. Like, these are the most random weeks, no one's expecting it, but it's just the type of player and Team City are. When they need it the most, they come up with it. Um, by the way, there's 200 people in here. If you could like the stream, it'd be much appreciated. Um, it will help us get us out there. Uh, but to come back to your question, Josh, whether to bench Foden or Isaac. I think it has to be bench Foden, but only because Isaac has penalties. Now, if you take penalties out of it, is Foden all day like? At the end, no, okay. Final answer is Foden. Um, yeah. I, I just have a feeling about Foden, I suppose. Uh, but again, you could be different. Yeah, Foden for me. Hi, Chai. I uh, answered that already. Uh, what's your bench boost strategy? Um, when do you want to play the bench boost? For me, I want to play it in game week 37. 37 has the best fixtures uh, in terms of doubles and even the single game week players I, I plan on bench boosting. I kind of had a look on keeping Salah for 37 because I wanted him for 38 too. And not having Salah on the last game of the season would be painful. Um, but yeah, game week 37 for sure. It's just uh, the most flexible for my team, I'd say. Would you sell Richarlison to Havertz this week? Uh, don't have an Arsenal attacker. Yeah, you're a bit like me. <laughs> um, I don't have one either, but we can just pray monish. You know what I mean? Uh, would I sell Richarlison to Havertz? If it was, yeah, Richarlison I would. But Madison I wouldn't. Um, because I think Madison's more likely to start. Hi, Troy, I'm in a shambles. No wild card or no free hit. Um, I have to get ready for game week 34 with Doughty injured. Should I get? Should I go Ben White or Aiton Ori or roll? I would go eight and worry. You get the the Burnley fixture this week. They have no company. They got a red card last week, and he's a decent double in thirty four. Uh, yeah, so I'd probably bring in eight and worry personally. Is Kuna fit? Um, I think he's had two weeks of training now. I would say he should start, but don't quote me on it. Um, is Gusto fit? Yeah. So what we know about Gusto is um. We see we got this, okay. Uh, it's not very reliable. This, um, like, Chewy's a good guy, don't get me wrong, but what I mean is not a reliable source. Um, I think if you um, start him first, he's not going to get subbed on, I don't think. Um, so it should be fine to just put him first and then hope whoever you have on the bench comes on. Did Tony to Haaland for a minus four? Uh, it's okay. Like, I just don't know if it was a necessary move. I suppose we'll see. Um, but that's implying that Haaland outscores Tony by four points this week. And can I see that? Absolutely. So, not the worst move. Choi, I want to bring in Havertz instead of Saka. Is it wise? Uh, wise, I don't know. Um, is it a bad move? Not necessarily. Havertz is on really good form, don't get me wrong. And Saka always has a little injury that he's carrying around. So I won't be surprised if he gets subbed off a small bit early today. Um, but if, like, does Havertz even start now with Trossard and Jesus back? Uh, you could see him get a rest, like. And he's playing in kind of an eight role. I don't know. I don't know about that, man. Hi, Shai. What do you think about Havertz? Um, will I miss him a lot by not getting Darwin? Um, no, I think if I could choose one striker this week, it would be Darwin, uh, just for a bit of... Start Iyer, Guardiola, or Aiton Ori. Aiton Ori. Madison or Bowen out for a minus four to get Haaland. Bowen out. Uh, Choi Neto or Dubravka, what do you think? For this week, I would go Dubravka. Uh, triple Captain Salah, game week 31, or Haaland, game week 33 against Luton. Um, I would hold on to it for the the double in 34, I think it is, with Salah, no? Uh, surely. Game week 34, let's have a look. Yeah, Fulham and Everton, that's that's where I would be using that personally. Watkins replacement, Isaac or Darwin? If you're not free hitting in 34, um, I would go Darwin. If you are free hitting in 34, I'd go Isaac. Do you think Foden will start tomorrow? Yes, I, I think I think so, yeah. Uh, Muniz or Sarabia, start one. Sarabia, all day. Will Kuna start? I would say so. Madison to Saka for a hit, man. You lot are killing me. <laughs> Madison to Saka. Like, I think Madison is fine, 
the speculation of Madison not starting is uh, made by people like me just because he got subbed early. I think it just means he's not fully fit. Um, because he's not fully fit. Uh, but I still expect him to start. Um, and Postacoglu came out and said that everyone is fine and they came out unscathed. So usually he's a man of his word. Um, but yeah, let's just hope he starts. Who's worth a minus four for Watkins? Um, Isaac or Darwin is definitely worth a minus four. Lighton says, if chasing the 30 points in mini league, go Isaac, Louise or Haaland, Garnacho. Out is Watkins and Maddie either way. Um, Haaland and Luis Diaz, personally, that's what I go with. Ewan Baker, afternoon, Shai, how are you? Uh, would you start Huang or Watkins? Um, oh, would you do Huang and Watkins out for Luis Diaz and Mateta for a minus four? Yes, I would, I would definitely. Um, Gusto Regalon, start one. I think I start Regalon, man. Um, but you could just start Gusto and play Regalon first bench. Um, joining the stream, Shy, uh, transfer plans. I'm currently <laughs> planning on rolling. I don't know how I've ended up with that. Uh, all week I've been speaking about making some dodgy transfer. By the way, I think I have this clock wrong, do I? Uh, let's see, where is it? How long is it till deadline? Six o'clock deadline. So we have an hour and 64 minutes. We'll just do 63 just to be safe. Okay, that's better. Wish me luck. I've put Tony on my first 11 and Semenyo on the bench. Okay, very good. I would have done that as well. Um, I'm on wildcard 31. Havertz, Starwin or Diaz, double Arsenal defence. Havertz and Darwin, I think, Jose. I think. Do I sell Watkins or Gordon? Don't want to start Kufal or Doughty. Do I sell Watkins or Gordon? Don't want to sell Kufal. I don't want to start Doughty or Kufal. Uh, or both. I have two free transfers. I think you sell both, um, Alexander. Watkins, you don't know how long he's going to be injured for. And Gordon, um, he is suspended for a game. Or no, actually. Just do uh, Watkins personally. Because Gordon, you can hold him until game week 37 double. Choi, are you keeping Madison until the end of the season? I think, unless he's injured, I think so. Um, and for me, it's just because the way my I'm set up, I'm free hitting in 34 anyway. So I don't need to worry about the Spurs blank. Game week 35, we play Arsenal. Game week 36, uh, we have a double against Chelsea and Liverpool. Game week 37, we play Burnley and City. And game week 38, we play Sheffield United. Uh, is that right? Let me confirm. Last game of the season, we play Sheffield United. That's right, yeah. So, I don't think, unless he's injured, there's any reason to get rid of him, personally. Um, I think we've just seen at the start of the season how influential he was when he was at his best. And... I think that's that spark is all we're missing like um we've not been playing great I, i'm not gonna lie to you but i think when we play good madison plays good so let's see um beardy work keeping foden or sell him for darwin uh who are you replacing foden with i think it is wise to get darwin this week though wood or Moniz? uh chris wood <laughs> Hi, I'm on free hit 34, wildcard 35, bench boost 37. Would you take a minus 8 for Haaland? Would be Watkins, Matters, Paro out, to 8 and Ori, Guardiol, um, and Garnacho slash Sarabia. Ooh. Look, I find it hard to go without Haaland. But with all, all those chips, do you need to take a minus 8? Like, equally, you could go uh, Watkins to Isaac, keep Madison and Paro. And not worry about taking a hit. That's just me though. Uh, <laughs> Doughty to Gabriel. Yes. Maybe. Are you rolling? Says Miko. Um, for now I think so. I think I am yeah. Start Regalon or Morris. <laughs> Who does Morris play? Arsenal. Uh, I think you have to start Regalon. Ariola to Kelleher. Minus four. No, nah, I wouldn't, Harry. I think Kelleher loses his place in two or three weeks' time. 
JMIR says, have Salah, no Darwin. Work getting Luis Diaz for a minus four and sell Foden. Um, that's a tough one. It might pay off this week, Diaz this week. But going forward, I think Foden, he has really good fixtures after this Villa fixture. So I think I'd hold on to Foden. Start three, Ruben Diaz, Aiton Ori, Palmer, Guardiola. Aiton Ori, Palmer and Guardiola. Double C defense is interesting though. Uh, Choice, start Palmer or Sarabia? That's a tough one, man. <laughs> I think I'd just start Sarabia, man. Um, Burnley away is better than United at home. Um, and Palmer's been unreal, don't get me wrong, but is he going to keep this form up? Um, I don't know if it's sustainable. One says, Hey, Choi, I'm doing Bowen to Foden and Watkins to Kuna. I don't have Haaland, but I have Darwizzi. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Just hope Kuna starts. Uh, let's do a poll. What can I poll, though? Uh, let's have a look. What can we poll? Everyone's captain in Salah. So we're going to do a Salah poll just in case um, we have any outliers. I assume everyone's on Salah. Let's keep reading chat. Um... My channel member is here. How are you, man? Good to see you. Oh, where is that message? Hello, British87. How are we? Good to see you. I'm all good. I'm all good. Keith McLaughlin. Hold Gordon or transfer in Havertz? Long term, Keith. Gordon is a hold. Short term, Havertz is an amazing fixture this week. Um, I suppose what's your risk appetite? If you're if you play a risky game, go Havertz. If you're born like me, I'd hold Gordon. Van de Ven or Regalon? <sighs> Regalon for the upside, but Van de Ven has a like Brighton always score. That's the only thing. Like if you're going Regalon, you're going for the upside. Um, I would say Tottenham have more of a likely time of keeping a clean sheet than against Brighton. Brighton went on that uh, scoring run for ages, so. Um, let's see Supreme Sports start Bailey or transfer in Odegaard or transfer to Odegaard or Foden um, I think you transfer in Odegaard personally who do Villa play City yeah no I'd bring in Odegaard Diaz or Saka for this week Diaz I'm getting McAllister and Isaac for a minus four what do you think yeah it's interesting um, it's good to see a player like Mac 8 get a bit of attention um, it's not usually someone a player someone would go to but I think after the last few weeks watching him play he's been amazing so uh, not a bad move and Isaac he's unbelievable I love him at Tottenham uh, Neil Robertson how are you my man yo Madison on my bench at the moment uh, as have Saka Salah Palmer son but fear and Saka might be benched keep Madison there ah uh, Neil <laughs> It would be unjust if you benched your boy Madison, surely, Neil. Um, look, West Ham has goals written all over it, in my opinion. I think if he starts, if he starts, um, and I'm unsure about the speculation about Saka being benched. Uh, he was seen at team training. Now, I don't know what that means. Um, okay, so Gusto was seen in training, by the way. But, Neil... I'm starting Madison, and I think you know why I'm starting Madison. The same way you'd start maybe a, a Nicholas Jackson <laughs> um, if you're playing West Ham. Uh, but yeah, that West Ham fixture, Neil, has goals written for it. And for me, I would have to start Madison. But that fixture is too good to bench Saka. So for you, I think you have to start Saka. Um, if I was in your situation, I would bench Palmer, start Madison. I know it sounds crazy. Um, and start Saka as well. Sounds a bit mad, I know, I know. You're a Chelsea fan. I just told you to bench Palmer. It's not going to happen. What was I thinking? <laughs> uh, you're going to hate me for that. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> How was this poll? 83% captaining Salah. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Um, Neil says, mate, he said he would do his best for a goal and assist and he got me neither. His response was that I let him down in an accumulator. 
<laughs> oh, that is so fair, Neil. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Um, no, yeah, Neil, I respect that completely. The same way you wouldn't bench Palmer and Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, I love, I think Madison's the type of player to have that type of banter as well, though. <clears throat> uh, so yeah. Otto Ferdinand with a 65 SEK uh, super chat. Let's see what you're saying. Thoughts on this wild card? Rhea, Dubravka, Gabriel, A. Nori, Gusto, Guardiol, Ruben Diaz, Salah, Palmer, Diaz, Saka, Sarabri, Isaac, Nunes, Haaland. That sounds amazing. And do you have the funds for that? Like, that seems like um, a lot of big boys. I suppose Sarabi is a really good enabler. Um, who would you avoid not to start? So you have Sarabia versus Burnley. Palmer versus um, United. So you have to bench one of Ruben Diaz and Guardiol. I'd, ooh. I would start Rhea, Gabriel, Aitnori. Uh, Ruben Diaz and Guardiol. Yes. Uh, Salah, Diaz, Saka, Sarabia, Isaac, Nunes, Haaland. So 3-4-3. Three, three. Um, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for the 200 of you that have joined me in the stream. Um, I love being here. Uh, and it is a quick deadline. So it's uh, good to see everyone back. Um, Liam says, hey, FPL Shy, what's the crack? What midfielders are you planning on bringing in for game week 34? Uh, yeah, so I th I'm very excited to use the free in 34. Um, it's the one thing I'm looking forward to this season uh, because it's looked rough. Let's do a little draft, uh, do a bit of tinkering, I suppose. Um, two seconds. Let's see, where are we? Okay, let's make a little game week 34 draft. For me, I have to have Darwin Nunes on a free hit 34. Just too exciting, man, not to own for a double. I'd hate not owning them as well. Do we expect Trent to be back by then? I don't think so. Uh, like, I think if he is back, he only gets one of the two fixtures. So, I think I would go Allison if he's fit. Ali B, Becker. Uh, now, this is just a quick draft. This is a... Uh, like, there's nothing to copy. Um, what else would I do in 34? You have to go on Arsenal Defender, so Gabriel, easy. Um, sorry, I know we're in game week 31 and I'm making a 34 draft, but it's just a bit of fun. I'll be two minutes. <laughs> uh, you have to go Odegaard and sack, I'd say. Uh, let me close that poll, by the way. 85% said yes to Salah. If you're not... Captain and Salah, who are you captaining? Let me know. Uh, um, I think it's a bit mad that you're not captaining this week if you're not. Uh, what else would I do? I would go... Kuna, I think. In Exciting pick and definitely interesting. Uh, who else? Oh... Uh, Crystal Palace, Munoz, Munoz, is that how you say his name? Munoz. Um, definitely Eze as well. So it looks something like that because free hit, you're so flexible. Um, you can do a lot with it, like, so I really do like it. Um, you know what? If Gabriel Ezeu starts getting the starts, like, I could easily go with him by the time it comes to it. Um, and Solanke, actually. You have to go Solanke. So if I was free hitting 34, it would look something similar to this, I'd like to say. Um, and 8 and Ori as well. Definitely probably have at least 8 of these when it, when we get to 34. It's expected 100 points. Um, let's throw the armband on Salah. 105 points. Like, that's a madness. Um, and I don't suspect a lot of people will be able to get to this if they're not on free hit. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what we look like by then. Uh, no problem, Lian. Start Mateta or Fofana this week, says John. I think I'd start Mateta. Um, he's nailed. Crystal Palace, who do they play? Uh, they play Bournemouth. Not a bad fixture at all. You can see goals there. Should be Palmer captain? I don't think so, Chief. <laughs> You'll have to speak to Neil with that one. <laughs> Van Dijk or Kelhar? Van Dijk. 
Uh, did Madison Watkins, the Salah captain, and Isaac overall 80k? Let's go. That's uh, that's really good. Um, 80k at this point of the season. You could still finish in top 10k depending on what chips you have. So um, it's very exciting. Um, Keith says, thanks Dylan, uh, for advising Saka over Charleston last game week. Every point counts in a game week of small margins. Absolutely, man. Yet again, do you think Richardson starts against the Hammers, please? I think so. Last week, I knew he wasn't going to start. This week, I'd say he's a chance. Um, we look a bit flat without him. And he did come on and play some minutes. So that is uh, definitely um, a good sign. I think he does start. Uh, Gary Wiseman, sup Choi, how are you man? Start KDB or Moonies? Um, I'd be starting KDB. FPL Choi is a differential captain. No, I used to be. I'm retired now though. <laughs> Should I start Solanke or Garnacho? Solanke. What are your transfer plans this week? I'm currently at Naughton, man. I'm, I'm clueless. Any news on Gusto says Noah Peters? He's been seen in training. Does that mean he starts? They have no one else, realistically. Neil, if you're still in chat, um, do you think Gusto is still going to start? I would say there's a chance. There's a good chance. Would you start eight and Ori over Adogi? Um, yeah, Mark, I would start eight and Ori over Adogi just because I think we concede. Um, but also, eight and Ori versus Burnley looks very, very nice. Start Zabania or or Muniz? Um, I think I'll be starting Muniz, <laughs> right? Surely. FPL Choi Wood to Holland minus four. Yes, definitely. Start Palmer Moniz. Palmer. Are you worried about not having any Arsenal midfielders or forwards uh, this week going against Luton? Absolutely. I am fucking breaking it. I can't lie. Um, but you know what? Over the last few weeks, I might have gained a small bit. So it's a, it's a little balancing act. You know what I mean? So they'll balance me out. And I know last week they stung me after keeping a clean sheet. But... Um, you can't have the best team every single week, especially after you're using your wildcard. So um, if we survive this week, realistically, what I need is Madison to show up or Tony. And that'll be the difference between um, me not owning Arsenal and me getting hurt for not owning Arsenal. So let's see. Is there a rotation risk with Salah and Saka? Do you think Klopp might have a United at, at the weekend in mind with Salah, which might impact captaincy? I do think... There is potential rotation risk, but I don't think he gets benched because of it. I think he can still get 60 to 70. Salah's an animal. Um, we've seen time and time again he gets 90 minutes, even when, like, he's only come back from AFCON and injury, so he's getting back into his groove. And he looks quite sharp. It's just he's missing, missing that small little um, clinical uh, finishing we've seen from Salah. But, again, it's Salah, so I have no doubt he's going to do well, even with 60 or 70 minutes. With Saka, on the other hand, I think it's more likely that Arteta rotates Saka than Klopp rotates uh, Salah, if that makes sense. But I'd still start Saka if I had him, um, just because the fixture is so good. Like, 30 minutes against Luton, he could do bits, so um, yeah. Uh, Neil says, I think he plays, mate. Yeah, as like, he, like you can see, and he's, uh, he's in training. Yeah. Definitely a good sign, anyway. Um... Like, I, there's no need for me to make a transfer if he's starting. That United fixture is good if he plays. <laughs> and I know I'm back in Chelsea here, Neil, and I suppose you know yourself. Even you as a fan don't back him, but uh, you know what I mean. I, I think I have to start him. Uh, big Man says, Choi, what is the crack? How are we, Big Man? Um, I hope you're well. Uh, he came off after lunging for a tackle. Yeah, it was his hamstring, yeah. Um, so he should be fine. Maybe it's just a little tweak. Uh, let's, let's see, anyway. Um, I have Zerbania on my first bench anyway. Chess Clashes says, start goes towards Ogi. Uh, I think either. They're both not great fixtures, clean sheet wise. Um, and you're both relying on them for the attack and threat. Uh, if I support Spurs, I'd start a Ogi. <laughs> but if you have no biases, you go either way. Uh, it's, a, it's a coin flip in my opinion. Start Onana or Petrovic? Um, ooh... <laughs> I don't like either of them, to be honest. I think you just go on Anna. He, he comes up with a lot of saves. Um, like, Brentford had 30 shots against United. 
uh, the last day. <laughs> so he could come up with some clean sheet points. What's been your biggest differential this season so far? Just curious. Okay, Josh, let's go back in time. Let's have a look at my what really got the ball uh, rolling for me. Um, so why I'm at my rank, to be honest, is I had like five or six really, really good weeks. Um, I haven't spoke about it in some time. Uh, so my first week, I had a stinker. I didn't have Haaland. My second week, I didn't have Haaland. And in my third week, I brought in Sterling and I captained him. And I had a game week rank of 473. Um, if you're unfamiliar with uh, game week rank, basically every single rank your team, um, based on how many points you get, are put against everyone. Um, and I happened, my team finished 500 in the world, which is crazy. And this automatically shot me up to like 4,000 in the world, which is mad. Um, that was the first of it, right? And then the following week, we brought in Sun and captained him for a hat trick, <laughs> which was ridiculous. And I brought in Alvarez for a hit. He got 14 points. Um, and at this point, I think I broke into the top 100 automatically in game week four. Like, uh, game week five was a decent week. Um, went with Salah captain. And then I captain Bruno, <laughs> 20 points there. Uh, and this was all with no Haaland for, I think we went 24 weeks without Haaland. Game week seven, we brought in Watkins, uh, 23 points, and Trippier, 12 points. We were just on smoke. It was actually ridiculous. Um, so they were some of my biggest punts or differentials. And then Sterling with the 16-pointer here. Uh, one thing I'd done different was, again, I didn't have Haaland. But I went big at the back. I really liked uh, the likes of Trippier and, and Trent. And I always had uh, Robert Sanchez at Chelsea um, because I thought he'd do well. Uh, so, yeah, that's been my differentials this season and it's been a really fun season i always play it my way uh it's, it's maybe not always the smartest or look the best on paper but for me it seems to work out i have a top 4k finish so um i don't know like it can work but it's a risky game no doubt but it's, it's how i enjoy playing it so uh so yeah and i don't advise it by the way that's why i don't think you should listen to me <laughs> um adi lifran sends me a two pound super chat and says uh, my team id Thanks. Okay, let's have a look at your team. Uh, let's see. Uh, 3605336. Oh, three, three, so this is a deal if Let's have a look. Man, this is a very, very good team. Very nice team. Um, what am I doing here? Man, this is little. Like, I wish I was in a situation like this. What would I do here? I definitely move on Watkins. What chips you have left? That's the only thing I can't see, which would highly influence um, your moves. But I'm just going to assume you're playing for this week and I'd go Watkins out. For me, a long-term move or a short-term. If you're free-hitting in 34, uh, you go Isaac. If you're not free-hitting, you go Darwin. Um, so let's just assume you're not free-hitting and you have this monster team, which is... Oh, you don't have Salah, I just realised. Oh, well, that kind of changes it. Um, <laughs> what do I do here? I think you have to... Mm, you kind of have to get rid of Madison at this point, like, to get Salah. You need 2.6. How much do you have here? If you get rid of Darwin. Five. Maybe a Mateta? Yeah, that's probably what I do. Um, it's not ideal, but I think you need Salah this week. His EO is gonna be 178 percent or some some shot like that. Like, very very hard to go against them. Um, so if I were you, I think it is worth taking a hit for Salah this week to captain them. Um, again, do your thing, but I think that is what I would do if I was in your situation. Um, and again, it really depends on your chip strategy. Uh, Abid says, did you roll your transfer? Um, right now I'm planning on it. My team doesn't look great for this week, don't get me wrong, but, uh, I don't know, I just don't feel the, the urge to make a move. Usually I know when I need to make a move. Um, and sometimes you're better off just holding off. Um, especially if Gusto plays, like, I have no problem playing Gusto versus United. Uh, play Gusto or Zabania? Yeah, like I said, I play Gusto. 
Uh, just roll the dice with him. Corey says, Hi Shy, have Madison. Should I keep Madison or sell him? If I was to sell him, I'd have 8.9 left over in the bank. Keep up the good work. Uh, thank you for the kind words. I wouldn't sell Madison just yet. Um, if you're free hitting in 34, there's no need to sell him. Uh, a lot of people will be on triple triple spurs when they wildcard in 35, I suspect. Uh, so I think I'd just hold on to him, man. But again, everyone's different. Like My perspective of Madison is much different. I just know what he's capable of when he's, when he's playing well. And it's the same with Spurs. When Madison plays well, Spurs play well. Uh, it's as simple as that. Um, and that's when we start scoring a lot of goals. So, Bentancourt is back now as well. If he's fully fit, he had a broken toe, um, and Madison can start playing properly, <laughs> we might see the best Spurs. So, uh, let's see. Mooney's out for walk or for Darwin, um, or too much. No, Darwin. Darwin's a good move uh, from Mooney's, for sure. Hey, Keymaker says, Flecken or Neto is a Vanya or Regalon? Um, you hedge your bets. For me, I'd go Neto and Regalon. Uh, me personally, anyway. Um, Isaac, with the $38 or er, Hong Kong donation. Interesting. Uh, he says, Hi, Chai. My team ID is 1879560. Um, if you're going to leave a super chat, by the way, it would be great if you could just let me know your chips because um, that really does influence some of the transfers I would plan personally uh, going forward. Uh, and by the way, if you could hit the like button, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, lads, for joining me. Um, I know there's a lot of big streamers that you could be watching and you're here watching me, so uh, thank you. Okay, let's have a look. Robinson, he's one I've not seen. Um, what am I doing here? So I'm starting Ben White. Does he get rotated today? Is it today? Tomorrow? I don't know. I really don't know. But I think you have to play him if you have him. You know what I mean? McAllister. Did you have McAllister for last week? That is crazy. Oh, Solanke. Hello, Solanke. I didn't see you there, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, me, personally, I'm running this if, if I had this team. It's a very good team, by the way. And... Who are you missing? Haaland. Oh, shit. I didn't even realise. Oh, man. You have to bring in Haaland. You, you just have to. For Muniz, right? Yeah, it is Haaland. To, or Muniz to Haaland. Um, man, that's a very strong team. Again, I don't know what chips you have. But I think regardless, you could bring in Haaland. Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace next week, who's a very good fixture. Um, and you do that next week. It looks very good. Very strong team, man. But yeah, I think Haaland would move my transfer if I had your team. Uh, let's have a see. Let's have a look. Thanks for the stream, Chai. Uh, who would you bench out of Eze and Semenyo? I bench Semenyo. Uh, why Madison over Foden, Chai? Why Madison over Foden? Well, I don't have Foden. <laughs> um... So it's not Madison over Foden. It's just how Madison, getting rid of Madison now is not worth the transfer, in my opinion. JP Lloyd, what do you think Watkins over Wood, or Watkins to Wood and Gordon to Salah, short on money, have 5.2 for a forward after I buy Salah? Um, JP, if I was bringing in a striker, I think I'd bring in Jean-Philippe Mateta. Um, again, it depends if you're free hitting in 34, but you get decent fixtures now and a really good, nice double in uh, 34. Play Brennan Johnson or Hoyland? Uh, Brennan Johnson. He's on quite good form recently. Uh, yeah, for sure. Just sold Haaland. Is it that bad? Uh, I think these last few fixtures for City when they're going for the title, we're going to see the best Haaland. Uh, he's been a bit quiet recently, but almost too quiet for his own good. So uh, that's just my opinion. Start uh, Gusto or Adogi? I'd, I'd be starting Adogi just because you know he's going to play 90. Start Pedro Porro or Zabania? Pedro Porro. Uh, would you include Gusto and Gabriel on a wildcard over Byrne and Nathan Ori? I would have Gusto. I don't know if I'd have Gabriel. Gusto, again, it depends on your chips, but Gusto, next week you get Sheffield United. Very, very good fixture. Uh, let's see. Trusting your team, Shoy. I fancy Villa still getting something from Man City game. Ah, let's see. 
I don't know, man. I think it's very unlikely. Choi, get Haaland for a minus four. Yes. Who to start? Wood or Moniz? Wood for me. Uh, what's your overall points? Um, my overall points are 1968. Um, yeah, it's been a mad season so far, man. <laughs> what is your challenge team? All right, let's bring bring up the challenge team in a second. Roy Keane smashed Haaland in the media. Expect a reaction. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Ivo. Ivo? Um... Haaland, we've seen, he kind of does take on some media. Um, like, he, he often speaks about what other people uh, speak about in a sense where he knows um, what's happening in the media. So, I don't think he'd take slander too lightly. <laughs> He's Joe Hall. He's definitely Joe Hall. Uh, this is my challenge team. Uh, so, I think Connor Bradley this week, lads. If you own him, he's a great, great shout. He's one I'm scared of not owning. Another one who I think could do well is Martinelli. Um, I think we might see some rotation and Martinelli could play. Uh, and same with Jesus. Jesus with the double points in the challenge this week. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how it works. But um, yeah, I'm not doing any of that crazy substitutes and stuff. I can't be asked <laughs> if I'm being honest. Let's get back to my team. Um, chat, let me know. Okay, let me bring up my team. If you had my team... One free transfer, 2.4 in the bank. What move would you do for my team? I'm curious. Um, I'm planning on rolling. If I wasn't rolling, I think I'd do Gradiol for Doughty. Uh, but other than that, I'm kind of stuck because I can't get to an Isaac or a Darwin in one move. Uh, which do you think, Wood or Mateta? Uh, if I had to transfer him in Mateta, if I had Wood, I'd keep him. Mark says Roll. You think so? Abbott says Madison to Havertz. That's an interesting move, but uh, like going forward, it puts me um, a move behind. You know what I mean? Uh, that's an extra transfer I need to do. Uh, Mark Parker says, Great advice, Shy. The other big might be streaming, but I stay here. Good stuff. Uh, that's what I like to hear. Uh, George says, get rid of Regalon. Really? Um, I don't know. Regalon cross on Big Antoni's head. You don't see that, no? Who would you get, Isaac or Darwin? Uh, like I said, if you're free hitting in 34, I would, um, I would go Isaac. You can just free hit Darwin in. Uh, you got your free hit, says uh, Josh. I do, I do indeed. If you could get one, Isaac or Darwin instead of Watkins. This week, Darwin. For the future, Isaac. Starkuna or Garnacho? I think I start Kuna. Wood to Solanke. That's what you do, Vulcan. Interesting. Um, any tips for Game Week 31? Wildcard, or Wildcard 31? Uh, have Connor Bradley in your Wildcard 31. That's the, that's the one tip. Watkins for, Numi for Muniz, Wood, or Mateta? Watkins for Mateta. Doughty to eight and Ori. Yeah, that's not a bad move. But uh, Jake, I am free hitting in 34. So, I don't know. Um, got to go. FPL Choi, best live stream on FPL. Thank you, uh, Rankster. I appreciate you. Legend. Choi, Watkins to Halland and Son to Foden for a minus four. Watkins to Halland, Son to... No, I, I can't get rid of... Um, I can't get rid of Son, man. No chance. We're due a penalty. We are due a penalty. Why no Saka? Uh, now I'm zero. So, uh, in game week 28, I wildcarded. And I made the decision to go no Arsenal. Um, that's why I have no Arsenal. Um... So, yeah. Saka is inevitable versus Luton. Yeah, I don't doubt it, man. I'm I'm worried. Uh, got to go. Good luck in this game. We'll see you later, Josh. Haaland and Garnacho or Luis Diaz and Isaac for Watkins and Maddie. I suppose Haaland and Garnacho. I don't know.
Man, I don't know what to do. I think when when you don't know what to do, I think the best thing is is to do is to roll because then next week you find out what you want to do. Uh, let me tinker on on uh, FPL team. Uh, let me bring back up my ID three one six two one six. Is Gusto fit? He was seen in team training. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't mean he's gonna play. It's just uh, it's definitely a good sign. Um, yeah. I don't mind dual penalty all season, yet you still only have one. Yeah, man, these referees hate us, like, you know what I mean? It's not our bad. You're trying to be Andy with that big water cylinder. Can a man not drink water in peace, Joe, no? <laughs> I'm not trying to be anyone except myself, man. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I think the move is to roll, lads. Uh, and Captain Salah, of course. Start with Charleston or Sarabia? Hmm. I think you just start Sarabia. I think. I know it's difficult, that one. All right, so if I roll this week, what can we do next week? That's that's what we need to see. So we have Triple Spurs home to Forest. Fancy that fixture. Double Arsenal, Gusto. Neto versus Luton. And we start Zabania as well. Um, you could even start a Doughty if he's fit at home to Bournemouth. And then what I don't like here is Wood against Tottenham. Um, of course, I'm going to say that, whatever. Uh, you know who I really like the idea of, but I just wish I knew he was going to start? Um, it's Julian Alvarez. He's someone that's definitely gone quiet uh, and Pep's not giving him much game time. But with Real Madrid and Champions League, I think we'll see some rotation in, in the league. And when he's playing, I think he has a point to prove. So he'll be going 100% uh, for City. I would love to bring him in though. Like imagine I could just do Wood to um, to Julian Alvarez. That would be ideal Like if he was starting. I do fancy him to start versus Luton at home as well. Um, where's the wildcard draft? Yeah, we can do one now. Let's do a cheeky wildcard draft. And show you what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, World card. Um, who would be my keeper? So, my keeper would be Onana and Petrovic. Personally, I would have Connor Bradley anyway on World card. Just in case, just for the short term, um, I feel like there is a lot of value to grab. Um, would I go triple spurs? I don't think so. I don't know. It's tough. I think you go with Dogie over. If I was on wildcard, like I already own Pedro Parra, I have a good bit of value. Otherwise, if I was on wildcard, I transfer him out. Uh, Gusto is not ideal this week. I would have Isaac for sure. Ten million percent have Isaac. Uh, and I would also have Darwin. They're too good, man. Um, Palmer has to be here too. Shit. Uh, I think because this is a wild card for those that have free hit thirty four. If you have free hit thirty four, that means you're saving for um for bench boost thirty seven, and I think a person that everyone is gonna have. I'm calling it now. You've heard it here. Is a Dingra. Um, I think in game week 35, is it 35? Let me have a look. A Dinger plays Burnley. No, 33, a Dinger plays Burnley. And then has a double in 37. But he's one that is uh, getting a lot of game time recently. Spurs defenders are trash. Yeah, but um, Van de Ven is back in. So it's not too bad. Uh, who would I have here? I suppose you have to have Ars you have to have Saka like on a on a wild card. All I know is that would definitely be my front tree. Um, Guardiol, I think you go Guardiol. Um, yeah, so it would be something like that, and I get rid of Doughty too. Who far though is question, and um, probably a Gabriel. 
um, or if you're going further in the future. Like you could, you have a lot of moves between now and thirty-seven. Um, oh shit, my team value. Ooh, okay, so you can't get Gabriel three point four. You need a Van Heck. And then 0.7 to make up. What do you do? Well, there's not many I want to get rid of here. I can't lie. I think you have to downgrade Guardio. There's not many. You're not spoiled for choice. <laughs> um, 4.3 downgraded Dogi maybe. Basically, you end up working towards um, the Spurs assets on a wild card. Uh, for me, I already have him, so I can't get rid of him. It was a good 4.3 defender. Could go with a Dan Byrne, <laughs> maybe. Or an Aiden Ori. Again, it depends on your, your transfer budget. Uh, and maybe you could transfer in Onana later down the line. But it would be something like that. Uh, that front three for me, though, is nailed. Um, no Tony, someone said in chat. No Tony on wildcard, no. Uh, George, with the five euro donation, thank you very much. Transfer Sun out for Saka now, or roll the transfer. No free hit. I'm planning to bring in Saka in anyway for bench boost 34. Bench boost 34, George. That is interesting. Uh, man, like I say, it's really, really difficult to get rid of Sun. He's just on too good form, and he's on penalties for Tottenham. But... Since you don't have free hit and you'll want the double for Saka anyway, Luton at home is the perfect fixture uh, to do it in. So, yes, I think I would do it. But surely there's a different way you can get Saka without selling Son, no? Like, yes, the answer is yes. But I would try to do everything I could not to do that, if, if that makes sense. To try to go a different route. Um, but that's just me. Uh, 22 minutes till the deadline by the way and I still don't know if I'm going to make a transfer Hi Choi, is it scary to go without Saka? Yes, it is <laughs> It's terrifying um, Who did they bash last time? Sheffield United like I was watching it and I just couldn't believe it <laughs> That was the first time we've seen them just be rootless in the first half Start Jackson or Madison? Madison Poro or Zavania? Poro Foden or Muniz? Foden Hey, Chai, what's up? How are you? Should I start Foden or Moniz? Foden. Is this the best we without free hit team? I don't know what that means, but yes. <laughs> Zubin says, Have Doughty, Adogi, Gusto, Regalon, and Pau Tars. Play Pau against City and roll free transfer, or bring in Bradley or Aitonori. Bring in Bradley or Aitonori. One of the two. They're both really good. Start Ortega or Pickford? I think I'd start Ortega. Hi Chai, Paro to White slash Gabriel for a hit. No way, Harry. Zero chance. Can you explain why you prefer Son on the left wing rather than striker? Okay, I think that is something that got uh, misunderstood. If anyone's seen my Twitter post about what I said about Son. Um, basically, uh, just for some clarity. Uh, I wasn't saying that Son is better at left wing. I was just saying that he's just as good playing up front or striker. Like, it doesn't matter if, he, if he's playing on the left or a striker. We've, like, he, he can come up with goals from anywhere. Um, like, because i just seen a lot of people say they're switching the arm and onto Son just because he's playing striker. And I just, um, I don't agree with that. Like, I was going to captain him anyway. Um, this was for last week, by the way. Uh, but, yeah, I just think, regardless, on the left or a striker, he's just as good. Just as good, man. Uh, and he's more in the game. Like, we've seen last game. Richardson came on the 83rd or so minute. And the 84th minute, Sun scored. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and I, I know it doesn't have a direct correlation. I just mean like... Um, he, when Richardson is there, Spurs play better, basically. Uh, going with Havertz over Saka, what do you think, Chai? Risky, but it could work out for sure. Especially in a game where you could see some rotation. How's the team looking, Shai? This is how I'm lined up. It's not great. Um, and I'm expecting a red arrow, but uh, we might have two free transfers next week to work with. 
Kuna or Mateta for double game week 34? Kuna. Choi, Doughty to Bradley or Morris to Halland? Or both for a minus four? Doughty to Bradley or Morris to Halland? Both. Both for a minus four, Josh. Nunes and Son or different. Um, I can't speak. Nunes and Son or differential Diaz and uh, Tony? Either. They're both good, but Nunes and Son for sure. Uh, just sold Haaland. Is that bad? Yes, it is bad. Uh, thoughts on Haaland captain? It's actually something I thought about this week. But then I realised Sheffield United is too good for a sell at home. Bring in Bradley, yes. Kudus or Garnacho, whom to start? Who do West Ham play? Spurs. Uh, Garnacho plays Chelsea. Do you, I think you start either. It's a tough game for both West Ham and United. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they, won't, if they both blank. Son and Lascelles to White and Kudus for a minus 4G. Nah, no way. What's up, the Timinator? Um, how's this? Usually, um, Paul O'Keefe does uh, who he thinks is going to start in our Ali Gold. I can never spell Alistair. I watch, I watch all the streams and I cannot spell Alistair Gold to save my life. <laughs> like, if I show you my, my YouTube watch, it's just Alistair Gold. Like, it's crazy. Let me show you. Um, you know what I mean like <laughs> A-L-A S A-L-A S Der Okay So usually Ali if you don't know Top Spurs journalist Best uh, The best we have um, And he usually does Like um, what Who he thinks is going to start um, So let's see if he made any posts About his predicted lineup. Uh, usually it does. It's very unusual not to see one. Here's my predicted tonight's Spurs team. Okay, let's have a look. I'm guessing he's starting with Charleston. Uh, but let's have a look. Pedro Parro, Christian Romero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, this is something I do weekly. Um, if you don't do it, I would advise to do it. Uh, like Alistair is just, he's the best in the business for us. Yeah, so Brendan Johnson, I agree with. Son, I agree with. Werner. Um, and no no Richarlison, which is interesting. Uh, so he's saying Timo, Brennan, and no Richarlison. And usually, I would say he's right. So I think there is a chance for Charleston starts, though. Um, small chance. Small, small chance. Uh, but let's see. Let's have a little scroll on Twitter, see what's happening. If you had to pick Saka or Son for this week, uh, I'd go Son. Sells to Guardiola. Man, I love the Guardiola move. It's just who am I benching instead of him? Gusto, like. Focal's locked in already. Fair. Fair. Sell Kulu. I think it's time to sell Kuluseski. It is. Do I bring in Guardiola, chat? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, so Guardiola going forward, he, he's excellent. Like, uh, with Ake out, um, Walker out, Stones out. He's going to play fullback or left uh, or cent left center half. Uh, and he's been really advanced. Like, I've been surprised, I have to say. If I bring in Guardiola, I have to bench Gusto. Choice can't stop voting for Son. Yeah, I mean, I always go with what I think. Um, you're going to call me biased? Maybe I am. <laughs> but Son is on red hot form, man. I just can't not start him, you know what I mean? Uh, let's have a look. Nice one, Matt. Tony. So, oh man, I need Tony to do well this week. Ed with his uh, predicted lineup. Let's have a look. Willock, I forgot about him. Um, not bad. Choi bro, should I do Wood to Halland for a minus four? Yes, I do think so. Okay, doesn't seem like we're getting that on Twitter. Let's go back to my team. 
Kuna or Jackson to start? Kuna. Uh, I think I just risked Kuna. Uh, let me have a look at transfers. Okay. Romero or Gusto? Romero. Morgan Gibbs White to Arsenal mid. Yes, yes. Start Mateta or Gross? Who do Brighton play? Brighton play Brentford, right? I think I start Gross just for the penalties. It's okay, Choi. Us, uh, us Chris Wood owners will be celebrating another goal. Yeah, it's a bit mad, isn't it? Chris Wood is, uh, is that guy, I have to say. D if I do doubt he's Guardiola. I'd be much more comfortable starting Guardiola over Gusto. I don't know why though. And then... Churchy, Big Choi, how are we, man? Uh, hmm. Isaac or Solanke? Isaac. Um, what is your profession? I currently work for Intel. Um, and I'm studying computer science. So who's a cheap midfielder I can downgrade to free up money? Um, Sarabia for Wolves. He doubles in game week 34 and has Burnley this week. Salah triple captain. No, I keep it for game week 24, 34. Sorry. Charles says, start Palmer or Garnacho? I think you have to start Palmer just because of penalties. Saka or Haaland? Haaland. Any Newcastle team news? Not that I know of. Van de Ven or Van Heck? Van de Ven. Uh, Jordan Habib says, Which three would you start between Regalon, Gusto, Guardiol, Kirkus and Adogi? I'd start Adogi, Regalon and Guardiol, for sure. Jackson or Eze? Eze. Eze plays no. against who? Uh, um... Uh, I think it is Eze against Bournemouth. Neto or Flecken? I'm in the same predicament. I'm hedging my bets uh, with Regalon. That's what's happening here. He, it's been at 7 o'clock. I have Muay Thai at 7.30, so I won't be there. Sorry, DVD. <laughs> um, McAllister, Captain? Nah, no way, man. Guardiola or Kanji? Guardiola all day. No differential captain this week. Yeah, it takes me a lot to, to not go different. <laughs> no, but it's a no-brainer this week. It's almost, it's too difficult not to go with, Hal, or with Salah, sorry. Uh, let's have a little scroll again. 400 appearance tonight, okay. Something big is happening. <clears throat> I'm taking on 262nd in the world and come at me. Yeah, I think this is a mad take. I think this is a very mad take. Benjamin White is a better defender than Kyle Walker. Jan, I love you, bro, but um, I just don't agree with it. <laughs> the Night King is a White Walker. I see what you've done here. That is crazy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 483rd in the world. Foden, Watkins, Salah, Muniz. Two free transfers. Interesting. Nice one. Best wildcard goalkeepers, Petrovic and uh, Onana. Start Madison or Sarabia? Madison. Wait a second. Did I s did we see um uh Madison starting for predicted lineup for um Ali Gold? Let's have a look. I can't remember. I know Kulisevsky wasn't there. Uh Brennan Johnson. Youngman's son, Timo Werner. Let me go back a page, maybe. Bentancourt, Basuma, and Madison. Okay, yeah. yeah. Not as creative against Luton, but uh, yes, I agree. Okay, okay. Fills me with a bit more confidence about Madison, even though I thought he was going to start anyway. Madison or Charleston? Madison. Look, Madison will be unlocked soon. It's only a matter of time, trust me. I know it. I feel it. Did he just get rid of Son? Son, Watkins, Salah and Darwin. That's crazy. Uh, 283 people in here. Thank you for joining me. If you could hit the like button, like I always say, it could be great. Uh, appreciate you all.
Bowen and Morris to Sarabia and Haaland. Water minus four. Bowen and Morris to Sarabia and Haaland. Yes, it is water minus four. Foden or Moniz? Uh, Foden. Madison or Richarlison? Madison. Is Richarlison starting? I am tending to say yes, but it doesn't look like it. Um, we've not seen anything about Spurs uh, for lineup, so it doesn't look like it. Nine minutes, so lock in. Yeah, I need to get back to what I'm doing, actually. <laughs> uh, sorry, chat, if I can't get back to you. I need to have a look at my team, though. Um, we are 92nd in the world. <clears throat> I don't have big expectations for this week. <clears throat> I have a lot of differentials, man. I'm um, not exactly confident, but um, we'll see how it goes. I can do Guardiola in. But does he play the two games in game week 37? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think we're going to leave it like this, lads. I, I do think we're going to leave it like this. Sack Salah captain. Hope the Arsenal boys don't kill us. And that Madison does something for us. Realistically, it's Madison versus Saka for me this week. It's a uh, Tony versus a Solanke. It's a Chris Wood versus a Darwin Nunes, which doesn't sound great. And it's a uh, Sergio Reglon versus Connor Bradley. Um, yeah, it's not the worst though. Like, if you put it that way, it's not too bad. Like, um. <laughs> I don't mind Madison versus Saka. That doesn't sound too bad in my head. Um, evening everyone, says Bongo. Late to the party, but better late than never. Absolutely. Thank you for joining me, Bongo. Um, Troy bro, start Neto or Dubravka? Robinson or Paro? And Muniz or Rice? Um, I would start Dubravka, I'd start Paro, and I'd start... I think I'd start Rice. He seems to get a goal or two, or, or assist even um, in these type of games. But, uh, yeah... Actually, isn't Party back from injury? So I'm not sure what that does to Royce's minutes when they can rotate in a game like Luton, but he should still start for sure. Start Sarabia or Wood? I'd start Sarabia. Um, what's your transfer plans for the coming weeks? You know what? I don't know because um, I didn't expect to roll this week. Uh, but it's nice to have the flexibility for next week for sure. Uh, so we'll see. Play on Anna or Petrovic? I'd be playing on Nana for the safe points. Isaac or Haaland? Haaland easily. Start Bowen or Palmer? Uh, Palmer. Uh, Jordan Mand... Madalina? Is that how you say that? Yo, Chai. How are we, uh, Jordan? Thank you for the £5 super chat. Uh, Foden and Isaac or Son and Kuna. Wild card this week. Jordan, are you on free hit 34 and bench boost 37? Tell me that and I'll answer your question. Um... Without knowing what you're on. Um, oh man. Foden and Isaac is better collectively than Son and Kuna. But if you're, if you're on free hit 34, I would go Foden and Isaac. If you're not on free hit 34, Son and Kuna. That's the best way I can put it to you. Because Son will blank in 34 where you'll need the free hit. Let's do a cheeky scroll. One last scroll. Uh, nearly 300 people in here. Uh, thank you for joining me, lads. Appreciate it. Uh, George with another two euro. <laughs> thank you. Uh, start Dallow or Gusto? I think I start Dallow. Just because you know he's going to play 90. Well, you don't, but you can assume he's going to play 90 over Gusto. Um, and I think Dallow is decent uh, attacking threat. Uh, so, yeah. Five minutes until the deadline. And we are on a rolling. Um, does Regalon start against Brighton? Potentially. Oh, I really need the Brentford boys to do something. They had 30 shots last game week. That's why I'm kind of a bit confident with Tony and uh, Regalon. And I know it was against United, but... Brighton do concede a few chances as well, so I think I need to stay put what I have. Uh, 
Uh, Aiden Ori or Bradley? For power, Doughty. Um, I'd go Bradley. Start Madison or Muniz? Madison. Um, thank you for a- answering my question. No problem, uh, Zubin. Thank you for joining me. Uh, four minutes till the deadline. Get locked in, lads. Uh, let me refresh this to make sure everything is uh, saved. Fairly boring from me, I know. Uh, no transfer for me this week, but um, I think I will want the flexibility next week. So it is important. Will carry our play? It's hard to say, um, Nickel, because it's against the Luton and Zinchenko is back, so we could see some rotation. Bench one of Dogi, Gusto, Bradley, and Ori. Um, I'd bench Gusto just because you don't know if he's going to play, for sure. Uh, Watkins to Isaac, yes. Play Johnson or Hoyland, um, and best of luck, play Johnson. What do you think about Eze captain? Not this week, Chief. Not this week. Uh, but it's not bad. Are you willing to do t- uh, Nunes to Tony? I assume you mean Tony to Nunes. Uh, not this week, man. Um, Andrew D says, number one streamer, thank you again. Uh, no worries at all. Thank you for joining me. Uh, start Madison or Foden, Choi? I'd start Madison. Darwin or Tony? For this week, uh, Darwin. Uh, in general, probably Darwin. But I wouldn't transfer Tony out for Darwin. If that makes sense. Um, a doggy or a shower? A doggy. Um, no, I'm hanging on to Tony for this week, lads. Definitely. Zabania or Regalon? Man, yeah, how have I ended up with Regalon and Zabania? Two absolute... Spurs boys like we're linked with Zabani if you don't know at Tottenham <laughs> and we used to own Regalon it's crazy Dougley or Douglas Louise Douglas Louise just because that can try I suppose and a penalty um Kuna or Muniz Kuna Romero or Gusto Romero Neto or Kelleher Kelleher um by the way just before we hit the deadline, if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be great. 28 away from 4,200. Um, I doubt we're going to hit it this stream, but we're hitting, we're getting close, so uh, that would be much appreciated. Uh, 92nd in the world. We have, what, eight game weeks um, left to play. What I say is just um, try to stay motivated. Um, enjoy the football while you can. Uh, you might be chasing someone in the mini league, but... Uh, you know, that's that's part of the excitement every week, you know what I mean? So try not to kill yourself over the game. A lot of things are out of your control. Um, and just go week by week, you know what I mean? Uh, some shit happens and it'll go your way some weeks and it won't uh, another week. Uh, so just be be uh, mindful of that. Uh, best of luck anyone that's dipping out here before the deadline. And thank you again for joining me, I appreciate it. Uh, start Madison or Tony, uh, says Kevin. I'd be starting both Kevin. Start one of the De- Desassi or Van Heck. I think I'd be starting Desassi. Uh, best of luck, Chewy. Thank you for joining me, bro. Let's have another scroll on Twitter, just in case. Uh, what your game with 31 captaincy says about you. Sa- sack of a t- believer. Salad Dunard. I love these, man. <laughs> Son missed the deadline. Um, 30 seconds, by the way. Get locked in. Final wildcard team. Interesting. Let's see what you're going with. Yeah, yeah that's very similar to what I'd go with. Very good team. I forgot about Munoz, actually. He mustn't be free-hitting in 34. Any news on Gusto? He was seen in training. But I wouldn't bank on it. How the fuck have I not ended up doing a transfer? I'm always impulsive and do transfers, like. Um, something gotten into me, like. Very unusual. But yeah, that's me locked in. Um, thank you to the 250 that are still in here. FBL Andy used to be my teacher. Bobby Evans, was he a nice teacher? Tell me. Seems a sound guy. <laughs> what was he teaching you in, actually? Um, by the way, if you have any questions, uh, fire them away. Was he a diddler? What does that even mean? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, so again, like I said, I'm not expecting a green arrow this week, but if I can stay in the top 100 this week, I'll be fairly happy. Uh, let's have a look at FBL team. Cheers, mate. Love your work. Thank you, lads. Um, you're the best. Oli, every single one of you. Um, okay, so I have two free transfers next week. Uh, is this me? It is me. Let me re refresh. Focal Raid. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, o Oscar is a legend. You know the drill. I was actually watching Oscar just before we came in here. Um, best streamer, I have to say. <laughs> How far away are you from number one in the world? Uh, let's have a look. I'm, I think I'm 70 odd points away from number one. <laughs> FPL Choi used to be my teacher. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I'll get there. Um, oh man, why can't I look at this shit? Uh, basically, I'm 70 points away from number one. 70 or 73. Can I look up? Yeah, I can look up my FPL challenge team. Okay. This is my FPL challenge team. Um, it's going to be interesting. After the first week of FPL challenge, what do you think of it? Focal not raid. <laughs> Just people from Oscar's stream joining me. Uh, <laughs> um, 73 points. Do you think it's still possible, chat? Look, I'm not going to say it's impossible. I just say it's very unlikely. Um, some really good managers there in the top 100, man. It's very hard to catch them. It's Roberti says... Choi, I can't lie. Before I discovered you, I was doing absolutely terrible. It's my first time playing, but since uh, discovering you, I have improved and climbed up week after week. Uh, so looking forward to next season. Uh, thank you for the kind words, man. It's um, it's the people like you that make me do these streams. So that's why I keep doing it. Um, and I appreciate the kind words. It means a lot, like. Um, so thank you for joining me. Vamos Choi, uh, thank you for joining me. You ever been to a Spurs match? Absolutely, Gary. I've been to like seven or eight, I think. Um, some crack. I went to two this season. I went to the first home game um, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against United. And we won 2-0. It was a really, really good game. And I'm looking to go to the North London Derby in 20 days. Um, by the way, if any are from Chasing Green Arrows or watch Gianni Butici... I will be joining Gianni uh, next month, 5th of May, and we'll be potentially doing a stream together, so look out for that. Um, yeah, I'm flying over to the UK to meet up with him, so it's going to be cool. Um, also, I'm going to play a football match, which is going to be interesting. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. Let me post about my team, by the way. It's something I always do at the end of the stream. Um, still 150 people in here for some reason. <laughs> uh, but... You're more than welcome, as usual. Uh, so let me make a post. Uh, why does that screenshot look so cat? But we'll have to roll with it. Where am I? 92nd. Never forget the emoji. Uh, the Egyptian king captain. Uh, sorry for the 150 that painfully have to watch me do this <laughs> but like i said uh feel free to uh fire some questions at me i'll answer them um i always do there's a crown i'm off try great stream thank you uh no worries good to see you george and thank you for moderating the stream as usual that's my saying <laughs> um what else we got rolled uh how do i say that rolled I can't spell. No transfer this week. <laughs> That's what we're going with because I can't spell. Uh, good luck all. Okay. 
Chris Woodley's the line. <laughs> um, thank you, Downtown. Appreciate you. <laughs> I just can't spell. Uh, that'll do for me. Gary says, Eric Choi, who are in top 100. Hello, by the rank. <laughs> the points they grow. Oh, man. Are you saying a pray for me? A prayer for me? Um, thoughts on bringing in Foden for Madison next week? Not a bad move. Not a bad move at all. Um, Hi, Choi. Would you Diaz to Odegaard, Gordon plus Richie? Or just Saka, Gordon, Bench, Muniz, Richie, get free hit 34. Dominico. Um, Diaz and Odegaard. I think that boat might have passed. But then again, if you're, if you're, yeah, if you're free hitting 34, I tend to go for a Gordon or Isaac, to be honest. Um, what, downtown, do you think there's little people in here that own um, Halland? We can do a poll for the 150 that are in here real quick before we go. What video games do you play at the moment? With the coup? Um, what do I play? I'm fairly retired from playing games. Um, but only recently I played pro clubs with uh, FPL Focal, Oscar, and FPL Fran. That was quite fun. Uh, so three of us were playing some pro clubs. Usually every year I play FIFA, I play COD. Um, but it's been a while since I stuck my head into playing something for some time. Is the Watkins injury bad? Um... Bad in what sense? I don't think he'd be there for next game week if that's what you're asking. So, yeah, kinda. And I, I'd get rid of him, basically. Uh, so, this is a little poll for anyone that's left in here. Remember the days we used to not own Haaland? Those were the days. <laughs> um, I'm going to close up the stream about 10 minutes after this poll. I'm intrigued to see what you have. Let's see what Ross done. Uh, 75k rolling the transfer. Good luck, everyone. Man, that's a very good team. Like, I don't know if I can compete with that. Like, ah. <laughs> Look, I might lose a few ranks this week. But again, it is about the long term. You know what I mean? I'm planning long term. So I have to just take on the chin and hope I get lucky, I suppose. Eight, only 80% own Haaland. This is crazy. What was going on? <laughs> I still don't own him downtown. Interesting. Um, what am I going to do next week? Next week, two free transfers. It's nice to have the flexibility. I can do... The back four is fine. Uh, Chris Wood is going. He has to go. 7.2. Do I just get Nicholas Jackson? Man, what is going on with my team? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, chat. We're going to call it there. Uh, thank you to Oli for joining me, as usual. Um, it was nice to do a, a stream so close to the to the Sunday fixtures. Um, and best of luck to Oli. Thank you for joining me, as usual. And I hope to see you on the next stream. Um, that's me 